welcome to Terra at Home. Uh, we are here at our number six highway location, and uh, we are here with Sean from Pacific Rim. Nice to have you back on the show again. Thank you. Good morning. All right. Hard to believe it's been a year since we were chatting. Yes. And uh, Pacific Rim product line has been in all of our Terra locations for about 11 years now. That's correct. And yeah. growing and changing as needed along the way, right? That's so right, yes. Let's talk a little bit about, um, again, I love talking this time of the year about planters and hanging baskets, but what makes your product line so fantastic? Well, I think uh, we spend a lot of time researching in the marketplace, mm -hmm. uh, traveling abroad, trying to uh, capture the latest trends. Mm -hmm. And uh, the trend over the last number of years has been uh, a lot of the poly furniture that you see out there in the marketplace. So yeah. you see a lot of uh, a lot of it out in terrace stores, a lot of different shapes, colors, styles. Mm -hmm. And uh, as an accessories company, we're trying to uh, capture you know th that trend and uh, and bring that into planters and mm -hmm. baskets and window boxes and stuff that you can accessorize your patio with. And that's the thing I'm really starting to see. You know, as you say, traveling abroad and especially being over in Europe and, and the way they're kind of they're sometimes they feel like they're so far ahead of us, right? So looking at some the way they they, they deal with their trends and all that and grabbing them and, and making them appease to North Americans and of course to our climate. Of course, because that's the, that's the trick. Right? That's the key thing. Um, is and again following the outdoor furniture has really grown. It literally is like the indoors outside that's now. right it's so beautiful that's right. and and that's what we're starting to really see is just beautiful it's not just oh you know what this is gonna be really durable it's not that pretty that's right but it's, it's gonna be a style nice. element to it as well exactly. too, of course yeah. yeah so obviously let's talk a little bit about the durability of the product now, you have a few different f different types of materials that you use we do we generally use the same poly textured material that you do find on the uh, furniture mm -hmm. uh, it's a UV protectant material um, it's durable it's frost resistant uh, which means you can, you can leave it outside, just cover it up over the winter time. Yeah. You don't have to bring it inside. Mm -hmm. But it's also, again, it, there's such beautiful pieces that allows you to bring them inside right. if you want at the end of the season to use it inside for home decor as well, and that's too. That's true, and I've seen that, which is actually a really great idea, and, and, you know, because then you're getting full seasons. Of course, we only have so many months that we're able to use <laughs> <That's right. laughs> to our full pleasure outdoors with, you know, with our annuals. But, uh, but again, as you say, bringing it inside is another option for some of your you know, beautiful right. indoor plants. So, Generally, our planters, if you look at a, a line of planters that we carry, and we carry about two or three different shades currently right now in Terra stores, mm -hmm. um, they're all constructed with a durable powder coated frame. Um, again, we're looking at that same all weather resistant uh, UV protectant polypropylene that's used as a wrap. Mm -hmm. um, as well, all of our inserts are designed in a zinc galvanized construction so that. You don't have to bring that whole container in. You can grab that right. container, bring it into a terrace store, get it planted up, and bring it right and back that's home. That's actually a great yeah. benefit. Easy transportation yes. and uh, use the expertise at the terrace mm -hmm. stores for uh, the planning. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a really good option. And uh, talking about uh, reused tires as well, a little right. bit. So how, how does that, I mean, that's that's awesome because the amount of tires that are just considered waste that will never break down. That's right. Can use and, that and that's a new line that's available uh, as well, too. Uh, we've, we've seen this in Europe for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, our studies show that there's over 250 million discarded tires a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've, we've tapped into some old leather factories that have taken this raw material and they're turning it into beautiful planters and, and wall That's baskets awesome. and, and other different uh, ideas. So it's relatively new to North America, yeah. but it's starting to pick up some traction mm -hmm. and we'll see what this year brings. Mm -hmm. Okay, well why don't we take a look at uh, some of the, the new products that we're bringing into the Terra stores that'll sure. be available uh, now in our location. So the okay. first one. First one we have a uh, it's a, a window box constructed of an espresso poly weave. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's nice and durable. A unique feature on this one too is we we changed the lining and we're using uh, what we call geotextile liner. Okay. This is a new, relatively new material in this application in the market. Uh, you'll see it a lot in use in, in uh, landscape material, fabric for outside gardens. And what we've right. been able to do is take this and uh, cut it down to size to be able to use as a planning application. What, what it's great for is it allows the, the soil to be held nice and tight, but the water to pass through, so it provides excellent root aeration. Right, well, that, and that's it's made of a recycled material as well, too. Is it? it See, is. and again, it seems like that's what everybody's trying to do now is just find something, some way that they can reuse. Exactly. Right, yep. then, then constantly repurpose, re reuse, wherever yeah. we can, exactly. Yeah. And okay. we, we've also introduced this year to a, uh, a collection, it's a textured uh, gray. Uh, PP and mm -hmm. uh, we, we've named it appropriately the Shades of Grey collection <laughs> and it's it's just a great 
new element that uh, silver and gray are, are an emerging popular color in outside patio uh -huh. furnishings. Yes. So we just wanted to, to provide a, a line that kind of picked up on that. Mm -hmm. So we have three different basket sizes available from your 12 inch square to your 14 inch cone to your 14 round and then we have a few window boxes and an outside planner. So it's just a new collection that's available at Terrace Stores this year. I like that too. I like the way and again also just the, the, the hangers themselves, right? That's, that's really cool that you can kind of, because you could put those anywhere but again it's giving a, a little bit of lift off the that's ground. That's right. So I like the look of that. And, and again new to Terra this year, we've had some success over the last number of years with uh, patio stand planters. Mm -hmm. So just a unique little patio stand that takes up a small footprint, provides yeah. some you know, immediate color out on the patio. A new design for this year is a, a three-tiered, where it's a three cascading tiers. I like that. Um, what's nice about this is that there's no assembly required. It's easy to get home. It folds flat for great storage at the end of the year, but provides an excellent uh, you know, patio display for your front porch, mm -hmm. for your pool side. It's just a nice new feature. And again, it, it's, it gives just a lot of color because it's lift again off the ground, but again, variation in height. That's and right. uh, again, you can really just have some fun. And with you get that real nice waterfall effect too. So three different size planters. Mm -hmm. That's nice, very nice. Fantastic. Okay. And, and again, one of your favorites here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the thing. That's this is the this is the one I I like in particular. That that's uh, right. after we did our interview last year, I went and bought a whole bunch of different. And that's the thing. You have so many different accessories that all coordinate. That's right. Yes. So this is again off the success we've had in the stores with the the natural willow. Mm -hmm. uh, we've introduced a 14 inch in both the round and the cone this year. Uh, as well as a 12 inch and this is a, a natural PP again it's it's again a, a variation of that furniture grade material that's out there but it's mm -hmm. in a small twist mm -hmm. and it takes on that natural look of the, the, the willow mm -hmm. um, but again it provides that durability where it's going to be out there in the sun it's be going to be a UV protecting item but again it gives you that kind of unique natural look the natural uh, look exactly. and that's the thing so some people are looking for that very sort of edgy contemporary squared off look that's right. which you're getting from you know from your other the, style but absolutely. then you get this and again it's more natural built you know I just find you can tuck it way into your natural surroundings and it just sort of blends in so nicely that's right and it looks really good and again very organic looking it is yeah. exactly and then uh, and again it's the accessories right that that's you right. can really just add from the front of your house all the way around to the back everything sort of coordinates nicely that's right and, and, and again good. with this item too we, we're still carrying our natural line at the terra stores where right. we have the sconces and the window boxes and the planters and mm -hmm. again it's a collection that just continues to grow and evolve yeah. and again and in, in itself it's still very durable even though it's a natural substance that's it's right. quite durable but as we were talking you know, it still gives you that. Um, it, even as it does start to wear, it's it looks cool. It looks that's nice. Right. So and that and that actually takes some time because I know right. I had mine out all winter with my my uh, insert, my Christmas insert, and it was. Uh, it's fantastic. It's great. It's, it really is a four season line. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Fantastic. So uh, again, some good product lines uh, in in the stores right now, and uh, it's just again talking about the accessories now. Um, you know, all of this product line continues to. Again, at this point, we'll be in our stores now. They will, yes. And uh, so people can come in and take That's a look. That's right. And the see the, the what's stores new. are fill all the new product line assortment is currently all available now at Terrace. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said, we're currently uh, searching uh, out there in the marketplace mm -hmm. and, and traveling to find the, you know the current latest trends mm -hmm. and expand the collections that we That's have. Great. So uh, and adding color again we, as a change of color, the gray. Exactly. So it works out perfectly. That's well, right. thank you, Sean, for coming on the show. Thank and you. again, all this available in the stores now, so you can start thinking about your planting because it's going to be just uh, a few weeks out now that you can actually start getting all these things outside and hopefully the frost will completely be gone and we don't have to worry about it. All Fantastic. right, we'll be back with Thank more Kara at home after this. Told you mama's coming this weekend, right? No, you left that part out. Her first visit this weekend? Look around, we're not ready for that. Where are you going? To Tara, where do you think? This is amazing. You're amazing. Well, we had a little help. Tara, where color lives. Heritage Perennials. Look for us in the blue pots.
Good morning, welcome back to Tara at Home. I'm here with Brenda Russell, owner of Hello Gorgeous Salon in Waterdown, and uh, thank you for letting us into your space. For sure, thanks for coming, it's great. Thank you, this is so much fun. So we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, spring trends in, in hair, but we want to talk a little bit about your salon first. Tell me, tell Sounds me a great. little bit about your background. Well, we've been here six years, mm -hmm. and um, love the fact that we've uh, got a nice big open space and so forth. Hard to find us initially, but if you look up, there we are, and people yes. are always surprised when they come in. So I, We are, I was just thinking the same. You're up on the second floor here, uh, right off Highway 5, and, and you walk in, you're like, wow, this is a gorgeous mm -hmm. little space. Right, it's, hidden it's, little spot of water yeah. down. So. And, and you're very much involved in the community as well. And yes, you're yeah, like we a little family. try to do our bit that we mm -hmm. can. You know, anytime there's uh, functions going on, we're um, the first to give a donation to it. And um, the Seroptimus uh, Flamber, we're quite involved with that and the different fundraisers that they uh, hold throughout the year. So that's nice, right? Yeah, yeah. And again, and, and that's what ties in the whole community. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, you have, of course, when someone ha finds a place and a stylist that they love, they will drive as far as they need to mm -hmm. to get to that place. For sure, but of course, for sure. have lots of local residents yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. So why don't we talk a little bit about um, some of the spring trends that we're seeing. And of course, mm -hmm. we'll be right into summer as well with hair right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and Definitely. And particularly, obviously, we have two models here today, with, uh, young women with, with long hair. But mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of different mm -hmm. uh, elements. I think um, the big change that we see uh, going from spring to summer is color. Everybody's ready for uh, a lighten up a yes. little bit, yeah. shall we say. You know, you enjoy the browns and the reds over the winter and now that we're coming into spring and the warmer weather it's mm -hmm. adding a little bit of punch of blonde in there to brighten things up. Now do you see uh, women specifically coming in and asking for that or do you um, maybe recommend that a little bit? To try I think we have a little down. bit of both. We yeah. certainly have uh, a large handful of people that like to come in and say what's new and go yes. for it and other people know specifically okay it's my time for my highlights spring mm -hmm. is coming True. so we kind of work with both that way. And it sometimes turns into almost a bit of a gradual lightning right as, mm -hmm. you, as you make mm -hmm. your way through into summer and you get lighter and lighter and lighter. Right, right, you look definitely. at pictures of yourself, I'm really light, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. it's fun. The ombre is popular. That's so that's something that that's right? something that um, mm -hmm. Jocelyn has uh, right now. Her color uh, is the ombre with um, the darker on top and yeah. the lighter around the ends, and mm -hmm. that can incorporate with um, browns to blondes or reds to coppers. Mm -hmm. Or there's lots of different ways to do it, and so that's fun. It's very uh, unique and uh, personalized. I think know. that's what's great. Um, I know that uh, you and your staff continue to do educational classes mm -hmm. to keep up with the trends and what's right. happening. And uh, where do you find the most influence when it comes from styles? Where is it? Coming from? Um, uh, the education classes are fantastic mm -hmm. for sure. Um, we use uh, Google Images quite a bit mm -hmm. where um, you can, uh, I mean, the computer's fantastic for that, the internet, and so you get a bit of an idea, and then once you search it out, it's mm -hmm. like, wow, look at all the different options here. So, do you find that the trends are coming out of California? Are they coming out of, the, out of Europe? Are they coming out of. Um, mainly New York? for us, we're um, out of California because mm -hmm. that's where Paul Mitchell is based. We're right. a Paul Mitchell focused salon, so all mm -hmm. our education comes from there. Okay. Um, and and uh, the color technicians and our educators, uh, that's where they get all their training from and then they bring it back to us. Mm -hmm. So it's And it's great. fun, it's gotta be exciting for you because mm -hmm. because you do this every day, you, you, you're you excited by the new trend, the new movement forward, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and yeah. about every couple months we do an in-salon uh, class, which is great. That really keeps us up to date mm -hmm. on the different trends and stuff. So. And that's exciting for, as you say, some people will just stay the same and other people want to be mm -hmm. moving with it. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. then follow it along. Yeah, and yeah. we're starting to get into prom season, of course. Mm -hmm. Grade 8 grads, proms, a uh, lot of weddings. We do an in-home styling uh, for bridal parties. That's uh, cool. So gorgeous to go, we call it, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, so that works out really well too for uh, the different wedding parties That's makes good. it easier for then them. You, then people can go, and mm -hmm. then you also have room at your salon then to continue to do what you need for to sure, do. For sure, yeah. You can go out to people's places. So exactly. As we're seeing here, so we're talking mm -hmm. about in terms of, of colors, of course, naturally through spring into summer, lightening up. Mm -hmm. But um, also, let's talk a little bit about uh, more kind of movement and fullness and curl in Definitely. There. It used to be all about, you know, straight, sleek, yeah. and now we're starting to get into more of a tousled look. Um, the wand curls is what Alex is doing over there. They're quite popular because it goes right from the root to the ends. A little bit different than what Jocelyn's getting done here with the cheek curls, okay. or the flat iron curls. Um, they're more for a loose tousled look. Right. Um, what um, Melissa has getting done is um, a little bit more closer to the uh, roots. So there's a lot of different long hair styling that's mm -hmm. uh, coming in for the spring and summer yeah, too. Yeah, you're gonna see quite a difference with the, between the two of those, right? Because this is really going to, uh, over on this side, this is really going to loosen up and mm -hmm. sort of just drop 
and just give you a nice sort of wave that's it. movement, right? That's Where it, the other yeah. one's going to give you more fullness and, and right, the more of sure. a definite curl. Yes, and okay. I mean, uh, for updos as well, that's a really popular way to start your style. And then incorporating a braid, I know that's something that um, Shannon would be doing um, throughout Jocelyn's style to finish it off is a nice braid. And that's very big oh, okay. too. We're finding a lot of the that. girls are, are looking for something that just works in to, with the front or you're seeing it somewhat throughout uh, the updo to personalize that's it, neat. you know, yeah. So you can kind of go across, sideways, that's down it. around. Yeah. And just, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I like that mm -hmm. idea. That's, yeah. that's really great. Yeah. And that's the thing, you're, I mean, you're getting young girls as you, grade eight grads mm -hmm. coming in and, mm -hmm. and doing this. So. For sure, yeah. And even, um, you know, women over 40, we have a large clientele as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm seeing more that they're coming in um, to get a nice full style for the weekend mm -hmm. or treating themselves a little bit more. And that's too, nice you know? to do, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, um, like, let's talk a little bit about when you are doing this type of these type of styles. What kind of product should be using? Because I think sometimes people almost go overboard with product, and then it it's. It doesn't Definitely, have yeah, yeah. We have a it. couple specific sprays, uh, hairsprays that we work with, mm -hmm. and they're working with Worked Up, which mm -hmm. is great for when doing the style. You're still able to work with the hair and so forth, and then we've got some finishing touches that go mm -hmm. on it when it's finished. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that um, old ice mess feel is kind yeah. of uh, going by the wayside <laughs> now. You it's know. so true, right? Mm -hmm. When you're you're with your your updo or whatever That's it may be, it. it's like crunch, yeah. crunch. Yeah, right? we all had the big uh, jars of that yeah. in our cupboard, didn't we? <laughs> you know, so, so true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So all right. Now, are there any additions um, at one point, you know, people were adding feathers to their hair? Where are we at with adding any other additions well, besides the braiding? Is there um, anything going on there? I find feathers are sort of, uh, that trend is getting a bit older. That Anyone requesting it now seems to be um, the much younger girls, you know, that yeah. are thinking. And, and right. uh, But it was great for a while there and the fascinators. So people would bring in their hair pieces too, right. and we would work around them. I find it's getting a little bit more simple. Just some nice gemstones, mm -hmm. um, a nice simple headband to go in and then mm -hmm. that can get incorporated into the style to mm -hmm. again personalize it. it getting away from your typical uh, French roll everything all yeah. sleek and smooth people uh, want something different want you know something a little, and, mm -hmm. and you've probably seen that also in brides as well where it's just becoming mm -hmm. again that more natural mm -hmm. right? definitely one of our staff Amanda she's like the bridal queen she can <laughs> uh, it can make any bride happy so that's yeah. really nice that um, we've got that because it's a difficult day for people and mm -hmm. they're nervous to begin with so you got to make sure your hair is just perfect exactly right? Well, that's mm -hmm. the thing between proms and and, uh, and getting and married as well. It really you do. It's it's best to plan ahead mm -hmm. and uh, to even come in and talk to you guys. And and, and there are some. Yeah, you know, we you do, do encourage have those, that for sure. Those appointments ahead mm -hmm. of time so that you can really plan, mm -hmm. especially if you have a piece that you are adding to your mm -hmm. hair. Yeah, or for the stag and do. A lot of times, the bride will come in and get her trial done for the night of oh, her stag and do. So that. then she's got to, uh, you know, an idea of what it's going how it's going to last for the night and if she'd like to change it up at all. Or, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, great. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for, again, letting us come into your space. And again, there are lots of options out there. It's really about coming into the salon, talking with you guys, and, and asking about what the trends are. Also, bringing in pictures, too, right? Pictures are fabulous. Have something on your phone, your iPad, or a magazine. And, uh, and then you yeah. can work together and let mm -hmm. people know, okay, maybe this isn't quite for you, but we can do this mm -hmm. to right? tweak it up a bit. Definitely. Something for everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. so much, Brendan. Thank, thank you to you, everybody Leslie. and all your staff. And um, happy spring to everybody. And get yourself a new do. We'll be back with more Tara Home. Come and explore the new Terra, where color lives. Welcome back to Tara at Home. We're in our kitchen with Chef Rachel. Hi. Nice to see you. you okay, too. what are we making today? Today we're doing an orange chicken stir fry. Oh, beautiful. Lots of vegetables mm -hmm. and uh, stir fries can be very, very healthy. 
Yes. Good choice, uh, depending on what do you normally put with your stir fries? Do you put rice or noodles, or do you just? Uh, I either have rice mm -hmm. or I just leave it uh, on just its own. A bunch of vegetables. If I want to be yeah. even more healthy, I, just I find that you can veggies. actually get away with that. You use less and less rice or none, and you realize you really don't need that much. Yeah. So if you're trying to keep the carbs down, right? Yeah. But hey, if you like carbs, go for it. <laughs> right. All right. So sure. what should we start with? Uh, we're going to start by doing the chicken, actually. Okay. Um, so I have a pan here just with a little bit of oil and we want to get this uh, sautéing and cooked. So we'll okay. start off with a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So we'll season it. So this is uh, two chicken breasts and I just, um, you know, dice them up. So salt, pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of chili flake in as well. Okay. And some cornstarch. So the uh, cornstarch will help to coat it uh, and it'll also uh, help form our sauce. That's right. Okay, and that's where pan. sometimes I find I'm lacking at the end is I don't add that and I feel like I want it to be a little thicker, but that's mm -hmm. what's going to do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just do, you know, a couple tablespoons of this mm -hmm. and uh, that will help there. Okay, so this is ready for the pan. Now you want the pan to be nice and hot. Okay. And so if we get this going, we can talk about the sauce and the vegetables. All right. And I think the great thing about a stir fry is um, the variation of vegetables. You can get away with so much. You can use so many different types. You know, exclude the ones that you don't personally like, or you know, it's really it's, there's a lot of options. It's nice to have color, of course. Visually, yes. it looks better. Um, but again, just it's really, really healthy. Yeah. So the vegetables that we are going to use today, um, I have some onion that actually I'm going to add into the pan right now mm -hmm. with the chicken. So you're using a white a white onion. Yep. Just a a half of a small one mm -hmm. and I've got some celery, some broccoli, um, snap peas, mm -hmm. pepper, any color you want. You add in the yellow and the orange to, to make it a little colorful. We've mm -hmm. got some orange that we're going to add in there anyways. It's broccoli uh, and what I've done actually is I've pre-cooked the broccoli. Oh, okay, I was just going to ask you that because that, that's one of the things, the ones that takes a little longer to, to cook unless you like the broccoli with a big major crunch, right? Right, and mm -hmm. I do like a little bit of crunch, but yeah. uh, in this case, just cook it ahead of time, just to make sure that everything cooks. So it's kind of even, fairly even, yeah. okay. because all of these other vegetables don't take too long. No. So you just want to make sure that you note that, um, depending on which which veggies you have mm -hmm. and what you should put in um, mm -hmm. first. I think what's great about a stir fry is you, it is actually really quick to make. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, and again, just use whatever you have in your fridge, and it's really one of those. I mean, basic basic ingredients that you have at your house. You can throw it together when you get home from work. And it's yes. easy enough. Yeah, we do make them a lot at home. Yeah. Um, just because, like you said, it's a great way to use up those leftovers mm -hmm. that are in the fridge. Or even if you have some frozen meat, uh, frozen pork, or um, shrimp, or whatever, you know, just throw them in there and it gives you. Or you can, of course, mm -hmm. make a vegetarian very easily. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're going to focus on the sauce. So I'll just okay. tell you all the ingredients that are going into this sauce here. All right. So, orange juice, mm -hmm. about a half a cup. And then I have here some uh, rice wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. So we can just mix everything together in one bowl and, uh, and then we can slowly add it to our stir fry. Uh, this is oyster sauce. Okay. Uh, so it comes in a, in a big container. You don't need a lot of it, usually just about a tablespoon okay. or two. Um, and it's just a condiment that's used a lot in this type some of cooking. Some good flavor. Mm -hmm. So it just adds to the whole uh, flavor of the sauce. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce. So again, about a tablespoon of that. I have a little bit of honey. Okay, I haven't used honey before, that's a good idea. Yeah, just to sweeten it up a little bit. Okay. So I will start to uh, whisk this together. Uh, I'm gonna add in some chopped garlic and ginger okay. as well. So that'll give so a nice So you're gonna flavor. add the ginger and garlic to the sauce? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just add it right in. Not to Eventually the pan. it's all gonna go in yeah. the pan and cook in there. Okay. So it's always interesting to see what order, I mean, you know, a lot of us make stir fries just to see what you do, just to... Yeah, and you can do right? it in, in any yeah. order. Let's, uh... The orange is nice to have in it, though, right? If you haven't tried orange in a stir fry, it mm. really gives it a nice flavor. It really, it works perfectly with all of what you put in there. And last time I actually used sesame oil to, um, to yeah. fry up the chicken, and that really helped enhance the flavor, too. Yes, that's a great, that's a great uh, mm -hmm. condiment to add. Mm -hmm. Okay, the chicken's looking good, okay. smelling good, too. Uh, okay, so let's add in here. I'll just move that out of the way if sure. you don't mind. So, a couple cloves of garlic. There's quite a few cloves of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> a 
<laughs> Rachel likes her garlic. But that's good though. Uh, some fresh ginger that I've chopped. Mm -hmm. Sort of a tablespoon or two. I also have a little bit here, so I'll take that spoon back yeah, from sure. you for a moment. Uh, this is a hot sauce called sir sriracha hot uh -huh. sauce. So just about a teaspoon or so. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> I like hot stuff He's too, like, but okay, <laughs> sometimes, hopefully. sometimes I, I get a little carried away. <laughs> so mix this all together, and then uh, for the orange, we'll add in um, a little bit of orange zest too. And we can also use that zest to garnish the top when it's done. Um, but I just have a zester here, so just. Get most of the zest. You don't. You don't want to go too deep and and get a lot of the bitter rind. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. there we go. So that's the sauce ready to go. And so basically, we're just going to wait till the chicken is. Uh, we want the chicken to be mainly done mm -hmm. uh, before we start adding anything else. But it's looking good, and mm -hmm. it's all going to cook together anyway. So right. at this point, we can start adding the vegetables. Okay. Uh, and again, you want it to be on a high heat. You like to get that. Uh, that color on the vegetables. So I'll start with the pepper. Yeah, I noticed last time when I made a stir fry, I, I really paid attention to what vegetables cooked quicker than others, like as you were mentioning. And I kind of did it in that order too, just to sort of, mm -hmm. and it made a difference because you don't end up with a soggy, some elements of being very, very soggy. Yes, exactly. Uh, so again, because the, the pepper and the celery is a little more hard, we'll just do those for mm -hmm. 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. We'll add all these in and then we'll slowly uh, add the sauce in so we can start doing that now as well because you want okay. the sauce to kind of uh, cook and, right. and reduce a little bit. Okay. All right. Yeah, so what so we'll do we'll is alternate. we'll, we'll uh, continue to make this and we'll come back from break and we'll plate it all together and uh, tell how you how it all ends up. Be right back. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Tara at Home, and we're just finishing up our stir fry, mm -hmm. ready to plate. Uh, so basically, just kind of let the sauce thicken up a little bit, and yeah. easy. Yeah, uh, when the chicken's all cooked, slowly add in the vegetables, a little bit of vegetable, a little bit of sauce, uh, mm -hmm. and then once it's all in there, simmer it for about five to 10 minutes, so the sauce thickens, mm -hmm. and uh, you're ready to serve. And then, like I said, we can garnish it with some more orange zest and mm -hmm. maybe some green onion or chive. Perfect. While you're serving, just to remind everybody, you can find all of uh, Rachel's recipes on our website at terragreenhouses.com. All the recipes we've ever done, you've ever done, mm -hmm. and uh, and again, just some good ones to uh, to go back to. And this is just a good one again because there are just so many options to it. Um, it's just a great uh, standby. Yeah, I think right? it is. Yeah, to have. So this is uh, this is fun, and it smells so good. And, and again, it's healthy for you. And uh, again, it's one of those ones, once you make it, you want to serve it right away. So we're all like, we can't wait to try it. But uh, I, again, I like how you cut um, the green onions on a bit of a bias that looks nice on top, too. Yeah, it, ma it makes it look fancy, Maybe right? Just clean the plate. Yeah. <laughs> so put those on Looks top. Good. We'll top it off with a little bit of orange zest, just to finish off that orange flavor. Have you ever done the uh, toasted sesame seed thing, too? That always looks pretty on top, too. I haven't oh, done it myself, nice. but... Well, there you go. You can See, make uh, so your version. <laughs> there we go. I always just take what you've learned, you've taught me, and then I just, you know, we have fun with it, right? So yeah, again, it's beautiful. Good. Lots yeah. of good options. So uh, again, Thank this you. is just uh, something that's really kind of good all year round dish. It is. Really? It is. You know? Right? Yeah. And again, now you've served it without rice, but we were talking about using, again, you can always use a jasmine rice, or of course you can use a healthy and go with the brown rice. Yep. Or, or a noodle. Or a noodle. Yeah. Rice noodle. We were all kind of thinking we like that idea. Mm -hmm. So. Or even an egg noodle. I like those oh, ones too. Oh, mm. I haven't thought about that. That's yeah. actually a really good idea. Yeah, we do okay. have a lot. But again, so again, you can sort of balance out how many like, carbs in your intake and what you mm -hmm. want to do. And again, it's something that you could throw in tofu and you could just make it for everybody. Yeah, exactly. So thank you, Chef Rachel. Thank a very you. good dish Thanks. and uh, something that will take us through spring and all year round. We'll see you next Saturday morning with another new fresh dish that Rachel will make for us. Thank you. Have a good weekend.